Hi everyone, I'm Anna and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about how I studied for the CNPT exam and we'll also do a little overview about the neonatal and pediatric exam itself. If you're new here, I am a registered nurse and I make videos about different types of nursing content. Everything from nursing school to very specific patient populations, as well as sharing with you how I have prepared for different nursing examinations I have taken. One of the areas I work in as a nurse is as a children's critical care transport nurse. I've worked in this area of nursing specifically at my children's hospital for about two years and I figured it was about time for me to go ahead and study and take the neonatal pediatric transport examination. This nursing certification exam is accredited by the NCC or the National Certification Corporation. This is the same accrediting body that certifies nurses who take the RNC exam, if you are familiar with that. I wanted to do a video on how I approached studying for the C and PT exam because I personally didn't know anyone who had taken the exam and I didn't really find any videos online of anyone who had taken this exam or had any sort of overview about it. The NCC also doesn't have an officially published study guide book or any type of question and answer materials beyond the brief PDF study guide on their website. After I took the exam, I did did find one or two books online that were some practice questions, but I didn't end up using any of these guides when I was preparing for the exam. Because I had to figure all this out along the way, I wanted to share my experience with you about the test itself and how I prepared for it. I'll specifically emphasize how I study to pass this very specialized nursing certification exam so that you're able to study and pass the exam as well. Let's talk a little bit about the test itself and know that based on when you are taking this exam, it may be a little bit different from some of the facts I'll give you from when I took the exam. The test is pass or fail, so you won't get a numeric score when they give you your results. There are a total of 125 questions, 100 questions will be graded, and the other 25 are mixed in statistic questions for them to analyze and potentially use as graded questions later. Each question has a premise or a stem and three alternative answers. You have a maximum of two hours to take this exam and you get your results within 15 to 21 days. I, however, got an email saying that my results were in eight days after I took the test. There are two different options for physically taking the test. One option is to do a remote proctored version and the other is to go into a testing center. I opted to go into a testing center because it would, in my mind, alleviate a little bit of the stress of having to figure out the software, having someone watch me take the test over camera. It ended up being the exact same testing center that I took my CCRN examination in. So in my mind, it would be easier just to show up, go in and take the test. If that's not your style though, you can always take the test anywhere online. The test content is broken down into three different categories. 48% of the questions will test you over transport core knowledge. 26% of the questions will test you over clinical issues in neonatal transport. And the remaining 26% of questions will test your knowledge in clinical issues in pediatric transport. Now that you know a little bit about the test itself, let's go into how I approached taking the exam and preparing for the exam. I'm not gonna lie, this was a very daunting process. There was so much breath to the knowledge that I knew I needed to know for the exam, and I really wasn't sure how much depth I needed to know in all of these different areas. One of the main questions you may be thinking in terms of preparing for this exam is how much time you should spend preparing for and studying for this test. I wish I could answer this question for you, but in myself, I had two years of transport experience going into this exam. I know my study habits about how long it takes me to study for other exams. And I also considered my core transport knowledge when starting to study for this. I only allowed myself a few weeks to study for this exam. I know that any more time than that, I probably wouldn't use it. Any less time, I would feel really rushed. So I just picked a test date that was a few weeks out. But another thing to consider is whether or not you have transport experience. 
Having transport experience is not a requirement to take this test. And if you had no previous transport experience, I would definitely recommend extending out your test date so that you could study a little bit longer. There were a few transport specific questions that I had when I was taking the test that I only knew because I had transported a lot of patients. I knew the answer because I had this experience and not because I had studied that particular content. My main approach to studying was to use the NCC study guide that they provided as sort of a content and topic checklist for myself. I knew that if I deviated too much from their study guide, I could really easily get bogged down in all of the details that you could know about these different topics. I really tried hard to stick to the things that I knew they would test me over. And again, the only reason I put so much stock into the study guide was that the study guide was published by the people actually writing the exam. If they put it on their study guide, I knew it was fair game for their test. I'll include a link for you in the description with the study guide that the NCC provides for this exam. And I'll link all of the other resources I used as well if you wanna go ahead and check those out. In the very next video, I'm going to devote that entirely to breaking down how I specifically used the resources that I used. I don't think it's a good use of your time to read through these books entirely. So I'll give you just the highlights of how I think those specific resources benefited me in studying for this test. I hope this video was a helpful overview of this exam and that it's helpful for you to know some of the ways that I approached preparing for this test. If this video was helpful or you did learn something, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel to not miss any nursing content from me in the future.